Hello, everyone, and welcome to Corn Snake Corral for Thursday, November 3rd, 2022. I'm Lori with Behavior Education at Spirit Keeper Animal Sanctuary, and this week we're going to talk about distance creating behaviors, specifically those default defensive or anti predator fear behaviors that corn snakes display. And these are directly from a paper called Corn Snakes Can Behaviorally Enhance Crypsis by Choosing Complex Backgrounds and Substrate. Although the entire paper wasn't about corn snake fear behaviors, they had a small section in it where authors mentioned the behaviors we're going to go over and cited other papers that discuss these as being kind of the default defense or fear behaviors in Panthropus taught us. This goes right along with the recent Serpente Sunday video that I released this week about body language and recognizing the behavior signals in your snakes that tell you when they're comfortable and relaxed, when they're a little bit stressed and they're starting to worry, and then when they are extremely distressed. Distance creating behaviors are those behaviors that corn snakes are going to do when they perceive something as a threat or when they are experiencing fear, anxiety, and or distress. It's those things that they're going to initiate as far as defensive behaviors. And they're specifically behaviors that are aimed at putting distance between them and the aversive stimulus or that thing that is scary to them or that they perceive as a threat. So basically the corn snakes exhibit these behaviors in an attempt to get the stressful thing away from them or to remove themselves from the stressor. In this case, it's usually something that they fear, something they feel is a threat, and that might actually harm or kill them. Fear behaviors in corn snakes look like bolting. So there's a few different categories of fear behaviors or defensive anti-predator behaviors in corn snakes. One is escape behaviors. That's moving very, very quickly away from that thing that you think is a potential threat or danger. So it's darting, jerking movements, bolting, which is basically what you just saw in this video. We can watch that one more time. That is absolutely darting away, bolting out of fear or a default defense behavior. And then actual defensive behaviors when getting away doesn't work are going to be things like striking, aggressive bluffing, or tail rattling. And when that doesn't work, the corn snake is just going to try to avoid what's happening by hiding their head under their body, by hiding under substrate, by burying themselves, or perhaps by freezing. But they're first going to try to get away, then they're going to be very assertive about their defense. And then when all of that doesn't work, they're just going to try to shut down and avoid everything and hope the thing that's scaring them or the potential predator goes away. This is an example of hiding the head under the body. So this corn snake is scared. They have balled up in a ball and they're hiding their head under their body. Let's look at that one more time. So that's going to be one of those avoidance behaviors. I'm just going to hide until this big threatening thing goes away. Now, here's an example of pretty much every behavior that I went over already. So first of all, this snake's space is being invaded. Its personal space, its habitat is being invaded. And it first just tries to freeze and act like a statue and ignore what's happening. And when that doesn't work, then the corn snake attempts to escape. It moves away quickly. And when that doesn't work, it's frantically trying to get away. Its space is still being invaded. It's now tail rattling. And that's a behavior that is an attempt to make it look more threatening. Now it's raising its body up off the ground. This is aggressive posturing to tell this threat to go away, to tell this predator to leave them alone. Now the corn snake is striking, so tail rattling, making the body bigger, inflating the body, trying to create distance between themselves and the potential threat, and then the striking. So that doesn't work either. <laughs> Now the predator, which is a human being, is invading their space more. They've taken the habitat out. They brought the habitat closer to the human. And now the snake doesn't know what to do. They've tried to get away. They've tried to defend themselves. Now the snake is exhibiting those avoidance behaviors, hiding the head um, under the body, burrowing, and attempting to burrow under substrate, and just hoping that this big, scary thing goes away and leaves them alone. So you just saw 
every one of the defensive behaviors typical of corn snakes, as are listed in the paper I mentioned, you can read that paper for yourself. I believe it's open access. And if you can't find it, please contact me and I can get you a PDF copy of it. So as an attempt to create distance between themselves and the threat or the scary thing or the aversive stimulus, the corn snakes in general do these behaviors and specifically the corn snakes that you saw in these videos did some or all of these behaviors, escape behaviors, quickly moving away, darting or jerky movements, defensive behaviors, striking, aggressive bluffing, tail rattling, avoidance behaviors, hiding the head under the body, burrowing or attempts to burrow underneath dirt or substrate or whatever they had access to. This brings us to our body language chart. In the video you just saw, you absolutely saw no behavior in the green zone. The snake was not comfortable and relaxed whatsoever. You saw behaviors in the yellow zone, which initially was a tight, tense, stiff body. And when that didn't work to create distance between that snake and the potential threat, that snake immediately moved over into the red zone, which are behaviors that the snake exhibits when it's highly distressed, feeling threatened, feeling in fear for its life or safety. And the human should be stopping, backing off, and acquiescing to those requests for distance. However, in this video, the human did not do that and kept pressing on, which is why the snake's behavior escalated. So what we want for our snakes are green zone behaviors. We want our snakes to feel comfortable and relaxed in our households, in our presence with us, and we want them to view us as a safe landing spot. And I didn't wanna leave you in this video with those very fearful snake behaviors that I showed you from the corn snake that darted away suddenly and from the orange corn snake that exhibited pretty much every fear behavior that a corn snake can. I wanted to show you what the green zone looks like, comfortable and relaxed. Remember, this is really how we want to see our snakes. The green zone behaviors are gonna be exploratory behaviors or the snakes resting, they're comfortable, they're relaxed, slow fluid movement, a tone, not tense body, relaxed body posture overall with loose coils or draped loosely over things. Maybe they're resting in a rectilinear or fully stretched out position or they're moving in a fully stretched out position. They're calmly orienting towards all of the stimuli in the environment. They're tongue flicking at things. They're interested in what's around them. Their breathing and heart rate are gonna be normal paired with those relaxed body movements. They're investigating novel stimuli. They're approaching novel stimuli, objects or keepers in their environment that they're curious about. Overall, they're relaxed. If they're gripping onto things, it's a loose grip so that they can hold on without falling, but they're not holding on in fear for their life. They're basically relaxed, but alert, and they're exploring. And when our snakes are like this, we can behave as we normally would. We can proceed with whatever we're doing. We need to watch for any changes in our snake's body language and modify our behavior based on our snake's behavior. And we need to absolutely stop what we're doing or back off at any signs of fear, anxiety, distress, or defensive behaviors. If our snake starts to ask us to distance from them, if they are sending us clear body language that says, I am requesting distance, we need to make sure that we're respecting that and we are giving them space. This is an example of my corn snake normal. So as opposed to the video of the orange corn snake that you saw where human keepers invaded its habitat, went into its space, this snake has come out of its habitat voluntarily. The environment was set up in such a way that there was a station, an attractive thing for the snake to climb out onto. And instead of us intruding into its space, the snake has chosen to come out. You don't see any darty, jerky movements. What you see is the snake is calm, relaxed, moving slowly, fairly stretched out rectilinearly, their tongue flicking, they're curious. And the big thing you should notice here is this corn snake is moving towards a human being. I am right in its face with the camera. The corn snake is not escaping or avoiding or being defensive this corn snake is coming directly towards me. So again, here's what you're seeing. You're seeing that slow fluid movement, the body's tone, but it's not tense, it's not stiff, it's not frozen. The body posture is relaxed. The draping and any coils are loose. The position's rectilinear. 
This snake is calmly orienting towards stimuli. It came directly towards me, tongue flicking. Now it's going directly towards this rope and towards other objects I've placed on the stand, tongue flicking and investigating them. This snake's breathing is normal. The heart rate's normal. It's investigating things, approaching novel stimuli, objects. It approached me as a keeper. Overall, this snake is relaxed. Hopefully it was clear for you guys watching that the three different snakes you saw in this video were at very different places in their comfort around people and in their environment. The first snake immediately darted at the slightest touch. That's very hypervigilant behavior. It's very highly reactive red zone behavior to dart, basically flying off the table like that at touch. The second snake you saw exhibited the whole repertoire of default defense behaviors that a corn snake is likely to display. And then the last snake showed comfortable and relaxed behaviors in the presence of its environment, in the presence of its keeper, and it chose to voluntarily exit its enclosure on its own and start exploring the space around them. And exploration has been correlated with confidence. Thank you very much for spending time with me again this week. Until next time, please remember to always be kind and love your animals.